Hey, hey everybody, welcome to another uh, episode of That's All Funny, another another day here, here in paradise. Uh, I didn't really do anything today, I, I had a doctor's appointment this morning, and luckily my insurance, I guess it's still kicking, even though I was uh, quote unquote terminated from my, my job, uh, hopefully that insurance stays there because... Uh, they prescribed me some pills that I got to go pick up. And uh, yeah, there's this one like Avaletti that I'm taking like a lot of. And I'm finally like finding some sort of balance. But I don't know if it's helping, you know, because I haven't really cared to like get out of my comfort zone. And really like, I don't know, there's really no reason to fucking go anywhere when you can just order whatever you want, you know, and shit like that. But it has been annoying because I've been like applying at jobs and uh, like getting interviews and then they like re- reject me and it's like annoying, you know what I mean? But then I'm dealing with school too and I'm doing pretty well in that. But I mean, it's easy shit uh, what I'm le- learning right now at school. So I wouldn't say it's too rewarding, but at least I'm doing something. And then, you know, the podcast, hang out with Mint, hang out with Dalish uh, do my wrestling shit, uh, so, yeah, like, there's a lot to do, so, you, you know, you're gonna see me, like, continue to try to put stuff out, uh, get more interviews, I'll, I mean, if any podcast really wants me, I like to guest on there or something, I'll go on, I don't really care, you know, I, I'm pretty open, but I know I was, uh, I, I went on an uh, Australian's podcast, uh, I can't remember what it was called, like, uh, something about weird stories, uh, and I was telling weird stories, well, I have a lot of weird stories, but I was telling about my mom and stuff and the witchcraft, so, uh, I'm sure he'll tag me when I'm in that, uh, when that comes out, uh, cause I think he, uh, he actually, like, edits and stuff, cause I don't edit for shit, I just, I just fucking record this and throw it out there, so, like literally, you could just hear me fucking cracking up. You, 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 you already know. You already know. <coughs> you already know. Um, but anyways, let's get to the news. Let's talk about some of the news here. Um, here's a headline: Leah Remney sues Church of Scientology alleging harassment. And Leah Remney, uh, I remember her from King of Queens, right? She was with uh. She's like the hot wife or whatever. I'm looking at that picture of her now. She looks pretty good. Uh, but I don't know. That's kind of scary, right? I know Tom Cruise is all about Scientology. And uh, I don't know. It's They got like pretty hardcore lawyers uh, in the Church of Scientology. So I'd be really scared to sue them. Like they, they got some firepower, you know, in them. I'm, I'm pretty sure it took like a lot for her just to get out of the of the church let alone sue them now you should just be happy you're out of it you know but uh good for her hopefully she um you know uh makes it out of there i i the only reason i know of scientology is that one episode of south park where they explain like in, in detail what the church of scientology actually like uh thinks about you know what i mean like how it how it really is and how ridiculous it is but i mean every religion is ridiculous right so what what uh what of it you know <laughs> look at the look at the god we believe in you know but whatever what do i know i'm just um i'm just a shoe a lonely shoemaker <laughs> i'm a cobbler no nah, i don't know uh Here's a headline. WWE's Vince McMahon served with subpoena by federal agents. And I'm not sure why uh, he was. They executed a search warrant and served a federal grand jury subpoena to the chairman, Vince McMahon, last month. He's also taking medical leave from uh, the company following recent, recent spinal surgery. Uh, so I hope he's, um, you know, prayers to him. We, we can't lose him. He's a good man. You know, we, we don't want him to have that spinal 
that spinal that spinal now um i hope uh he's okay uh i hope he pays whoever he needs to to shut them up and then uh you know we we start uh you know pay you roll, roll rumble you know bring back Shawn michaels no nah, i don't know <laughs> he's gonna puke he's gonna puke no um no nah, i like Vince. everybody likes Vince mcmahon even if he did do all that shit like he's that's just him man that's just what he does like players are gonna play you know i'm sure his wife uh does whatever she wants to do too um let's see i, I got a i got a headline here uh most americans calculate that it's 1.8 million now to retire and um i don't know like well i agree with this because i remember when i first huh oh when i first like uh got like into a job uh my my job that like i was with for 12 years or whatever I uh, was really into like the the retirement and the 401k and reading about it and how like it grew and uh, you know like they matched it for the company and then uh, it was invested in certain funds so that you know estimation wise you could retire at this time when and you spend this much so it was it was an interesting like uh, thing to look at that's what I was really into and then and then stock too. I was really into stock back then because I know when I worked at Home Depot, they had where you can um, purchase stock at a discount. And I was purchasing Home Depot stock back when, dude, like when I first got hired there, it was like 80 bucks a share. And then like now it's like 300 bucks a share. No, it was real cheap when I was there. Like Home Depot went up with uh the pandemic and people like uh panicking you know uh wanting to build like <laughs> off the grid shelters or uh fucking stuff like that you know uh and a lot of do it yourself and then also um just property houses rising and all that shit i don't know but uh i i, <laughs> I didn't keep that stock at home depot i sold it immediately as i got it i'm pretty sure i made some money on it because I bought it at a discount, but I use that money to, you know, fund whatever. I don't know if I, I don't know what I did with it. Probably just paid bills or something. Uh, but yeah, like I, I get it about, uh, you know, trying to make it with our retirement. I, I could see you. Yeah. Like I could see me winning the lottery, like a million bucks and being like, this still isn't going to be enough <laughs> to survive a million dollars, you know? Because do you think of taxes, so you're only going to get like 600 grand of it, and then you could pay off my house, my truck, and then uh, like bills, you know. So I, I'm pretty damn sure like a million uh, doesn't cut it anymore, you know. You need, well here it says at least two million, so yeah, I can believe that. One million to cover everything, and then the other million to fucking uh kind of live at least you know within your means i feel but there's motherfuckers out there rappers buying uh fucking chains getting surgically put into their hair and grills like di diamond chains uh, uh more, worth more than any any money i'll ever see in my life like with working two jobs for all the years that i've lived you know it's pretty insane Oh, well, though, that's life. What can we do? Um, lastly, here on the docket, uh, toy maker Mattel promotes chief Uno player job. And so it says Mattel is hunting for someone to help promote its new Uno game. And that's essentially it. Like, uh, you'll be paid four thousand four hundred and forty four dollars and forty four cents a week for the job to promote it um and you know what 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 they should do is hire a mexican because uh uno is a mexican word for fucking one you know what i mean like like if you if you don't hire a mexican that's gonna be fucking like 
you're you're taking uh you know that's like not hiring a a handicapped person to play a, a movie role you know like you're high you're or, or not hiring an indian to play a native american or whatever or not you know when they didn't hire like uh indian to play a pocahontas or something type shit you know so yeah you need a mexican to to be your chief uno but apparently the gig will be based in new york for four weeks Responsibilities include playing the game, the new game Uno Quattro, <laughs> for four hours a day, four days a week, and they'll be paid four thousand four hundred forty-four dollars and forty-four cents a week. Which I mean, that's a, that's a pretty damn good job for uh, temp work. Uh, I don't know about the game Uno Quattro, what what it might entail, but I know Uno. Um, when we would play it, it's it's one of those games. It's like Monopoly where you you start, like, hating everyone <laughs> when you just keep, like, fucking losing and losing and losing. You know what I mean? Uh, especially nowadays uh, with uh, your your phones, you could play Uno, like, on, on your phone with your friend if they uh, have Uno 2 for free. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know about board games anymore, like physical board games are going the way of uh, the dinosaur, unfortunately. Um, I, I remember I had a that that board game Mousetrap, but I never actually played the game. I just set up the Mousetrap and did the Mousetrap uh, and just kind of watched it do its thing. And that was pretty fun. But I never knew the rules of mou Mousetrap. Like, I still don't know the rules of Mousetrap. Uh, but... I know like the how to set it up, you know. The and I don't know. There's other what, what game like Monopoly's okay, but it takes forever. The game of life's all right. Clue is okay if you're playing like if you know who who to like play with. You got to have like good people to play with to play Clue. Um but yeah, I, I don't know, board games you got everything digital, man. Why do you need why do you need a board game? That's why they're called board games and it's they're boring now. <sighs> oh well. Um but yeah, that's that's all the news I got here, pretty much. Uh so yeah, what do you think about Leah Leah Remney suing the Church of Scientology? Uh I hope Vince McMahon's okay. Uh, we still need him. Uh <laughs> We still need you. Dun, 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 dun. We still need you. Dun, dun. And um, yeah, w do y'all plan to retire? Cause I don't know. It's just cheaper to die at this point. <laughs> like, like just right at sixty five or sixty five and a half. Um, just save enough money to buy a, a shotgun and one or two bullets or shells or whatever, and you're good. There's your retirement plan right there take care of it you know but yeah uh i want to thank you all for listening to today's episode uh if you want to help support the grind check out my youtube where i'm putting out like uh vi videos of uh wrestling uh me talking about wrestling and stuff and other shit too it it's all random you know i'm pretty sure uh mint and i will be uh talking about SummerSlam. that's this saturday we might do that live, so uh, look forward to that on the YouTube. And check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Riola if you want to help, uh, you know, kind of directly support me uh, while getting ad-free episodes of bonus content. And check out the website, retrohorrorinc.com, where uh, you can get check out the new designs of t-shirt. We got a new uh, design called Lorenzo in 3D. That's pretty cool. Uh, the church, uh, uh, the shirt is $25 free shipping, we got all sizes, uh, and you can check it out there done by the great retro horror Inc. If you need any art done, just get, uh, get him on it. He can do anything and everything, but yeah, thank you all for uh, listening and we'll be back again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.